Uh, one thing that stood about Evan was he was he was hilarious. He could f literally walk into a room and make every single one of us laugh. He, uh, I think, what defines Evan uh, to me personally was that he said he could say the least and still make us laugh the most. He also was up for anything. He's very spontaneous. He um, wanted to try everything. Um, he, you could just appreciate and kind of envy the way he lived his life because he would, he wanted to do everything and he loved everyone and you could tell that he did. The first thing I think of when I think of Evan is his big country accent and just his love for everyone at camp. He truly impacted the lives of not only me, but I know from the youngest campers to the oldest staff members, he just truly touched their hearts. And Evan was so funny and he had the best jokes and even if you weren't that close to him, he would be like your best friend or he was like a big brother and a role model for all the younger campers. Yeah. Love you, Evan. Evan, a funny memory I have. Me and Evan always did drinks together for meal times, and he spilled the whole water bucket <laughs> and got yelled at. <laughs> so that's one of my memories. And then definitely Evan's sandwich with him, me, and Evan Friday. Those were always my favorite pictures. I loved how those turned out. He will really be missed. Yes, we love him. We thank him for sharing his love to all of us and making us all feel so loved. He touched more people than he knew. Evan was the kind of person you could talk to and never get bored. I remember the last time I saw him was maybe two months ago, and I was working in Mont Clark in the same week, and he was there for a retreat. And I remember they moved me to the back because I spent more time talking and laughing with him that day than I did doing my job. And that just really speaks numbers to his personality. We are going to miss you so much and I am praying so hard for your family. I'm praying so hard for your brother, your mom and your dad, your extended family. The CITs, we already miss you. We've been, we've been doing Everything has been about you and praying for you and your family. Brady, just a uh, quick message for you real quick. I want you to know that I understand that this is a hard time in your life. This is a very low point in your life. But you got to remember that the lowest points in our life are the places where we learn from the most. God puts us through trials in our life. And I want you to remember to not lose sight of Christ right now. It's very important that you do not because I want you to have the assurance that in giving your life to Christ, you will see your brother again because I know he's happy with the Lord in heaven right now.